For the next exercise, find an equivalent Cartesian equation for the following polar equations and sketch these curves. For number one, we have r equal to 4. First, we square both sides, giving us r squared equal to 16. And using our conversion equation for r, we get x squared plus y squared equal to 16. Hence, its graph is a circle centered at the origin with radius 4, as shown on the right. For number 2, we have r equal to 2 cosine theta. Multiplying both sides by r, we get r squared equal to 2r cosine theta. Using our conversion equations, we get x squared plus y squared equal to 2x. Transposing 2x, we get x squared minus 2x plus y squared equal to 0. Completing the square for x, we get x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus y squared equal to 1. Expressing x squared minus 2x plus 1 as a perfect square, we get x minus 1 quantity squared plus y squared equal to 1. Hence, its graph is a circle centered at the point with rectangular coordinates 1, 0 with radius 1. Its graph is shown on the right. For number 3, we have r equal to negative 4 sine theta. Multiplying both sides by r, we get r squared equal to negative 4r sine theta. Using our conversion equations, we get x squared plus y squared equal to negative 4y. Transposing negative 4y gives us x squared plus y squared plus 4y equal to 0. Completing the square for y gives us x squared plus y squared plus 4y plus 4 equal to 4. Expressing y squared plus 4y plus 4 as a perfect square gives us x squared plus the quantity y plus 2 squared equal to 4. Hence, its graph is a circle centered at the point with rectangular coordinates 0, negative 2 with radius 2. Its graph is shown on the right. Notice that polar equations of the form are equal to a, r equal to a cosine b, or r equal to a sine b, where a and b are real numbers, have circles as graphs. Also, notice that in equations similar to the previous two items, the circle passes through the pole and is centered at a point on a coordinate axis. Now, for number four, we have r equal to three secant theta. In converting this to a Cartesian equation, what we will do is divide both sides by secant theta, which gives us r cosine theta equal to 3. Using our conversion equation, we get x equal to 3. Hence, its graph is a vertical line with x-intercept having rectangular coordinates 3, 0, and its graph is shown on the right. A similar technique is used when the given polar equation has cosecant theta instead of secant theta. For number 5, we have theta equal to pi over 3. In examples like this, r can take any real value. This gives us a line through the pole that makes an angle pi over 3 radians with the polar axis. In converting this to a Cartesian equation, we evaluate tangent theta. This gives us tangent theta equal to square root of 3. And using our conversion equation for tangent theta, we get y over x equal to square root of 3. Since y equal to r sine theta and x is equal to r cosine theta. Isolating y in this equation gives us y equal to square root of 3 x. Hence, its graph is a line through the origin 
with slope square root of 3. Its graph is shown on the right. And for number 6, we have theta equal to negative 3 pi over 4. Using techniques similar to the ones we used in the previous item, we get a line through the pole that makes an angle negative 3 pi over 4 radians with the polar axis. In converting this to a Cartesian equation, we evaluate tangent theta, which gives us tangent theta equal to 1. Again, using our conversion equation for tangent theta, we get y over x equal to 1, and isolating y in this equation gives us y equal to x. Hence, its graph is a line through the origin with slope 1. Its graph is shown on the right.